just woke up. It is 12.36, December 20, oh my God. What day is it? It's December 30th, 2021. I'm just gonna practice vlogging because my goal of 2022 is to start making videos for YouTube. I don't know what that looks like. I don't know if it's gonna be more vlogs or like, like editing or photo stuff or touring or whatever, but I just promised myself that I was gonna commit to making some vlogs this year. This is me practicing. I don't know if I'm ever gonna release this, but it's just practice. Okay, bye. So, um, yeah, this is gonna take some time for me to get used to talking in front of a camera. I'm usually behind the camera. This is so different to any sort of content I'm used to creating. I'm used to doing like tour recaps, like one minute little videos that go on Instagram or TikTok or whatever. And so being in front of the camera and talking to the camera is extremely new. I know every new YouTuber says that and they're like, how do you do this? But genuinely, it's like, this is super uncomfortable for me. So it'll take some time, but we'll get there. Basically, I wanna start creating these vlogs or just videos, whatever these are gonna turn into because I wanna push myself and do something new, something that will push me out of my comfort zone. This was a goal for 2022 for me, it was to just enter the YouTube space and actually commit to it. And I don't know how often these will happen. I don't have like a schedule or any sort of plan. I'm just kind of going in blind, but I think that's what's gonna work best. Just you guys give me feedback and you know, we figure it out. I think I have like 70 subscribers right now and I'm not even gonna announce that I'm really doing these on any other social media. I'm just gonna start putting these out because it's gonna be good practice for me and I'll get my reps in and hopefully get better at this whole situation. Basically, I live in California now. I just moved here December 1st, 2021, but I moved here because I started getting most of my work out here. I was working a ton with um, Laney. I just got off tour with them and most of my work was coming from here. I was having to fly from Nashville to LA constantly. And so it just made sense to move out here and get closer to that work. And I just wanted to open the door for new opportunities opportunities, meet more people, meet new artists, you know, I'm not here just to work with Laney, I'm here to work with like everybody. But this is my first time being full time freelance. And that is absolutely terrifying. I've always had some sort of part time job ever since I was like 15 or 16. And so this is my first time I guess like really doing this career professionally. But yeah, it's extremely nerve wracking. Who knows, I may last like three weeks and have to go get a job at Denny's, but you know, we'll cross that bridge when we get there. But yeah, this is my little guest house. Obviously there's nothing in here, a bed and a kitchen and a closet and a bathroom, which is pretty much everything I need. I don't have a dishwasher. I don't have a washer and dryer. It's truly the LA experience. I don't even have a stove, so I'm actually just living off of Trader Joe's frozen meals. My day to day right now is like super slow because I don't have a job. So I'm just trying to like figure out how to be as productive as I can during my days. So today I know I need to get groceries. I know I need to clean my car and I know that I need to do some editing work later. But yeah, that's pretty much what this day is going to look like. Okay, as I'm starting to do the vlog thing, I'm realizing there's a couple things I need to invest in. One is like a proper camera to shoot on because trying to use my iPhone and film at the same time is just not working. Two is something for my car to hold whatever I'm shooting on because this is not safe. I haven't eaten today and so I am on my way to Chipotle. Yeah, I'm gonna do a bowl to go. Oof, okay, secured the bag. The great thing about coming back from the holidays is you just have gift cards to everywhere. My dad gave me a massive Chipotle gift card, which is awesome because you can just load your bowl up and eat off of it for like three days. Not that you asked, but my Chipotle bowl order is white rice, chicken, no beans, corn salsa, a little bit of sour cream, cheese, guacamole, and a side of vinaigrette. And you mix all that up and you eat. This, this, this is the stuff they don't tell you about. This stuff right here, it's made for the salads, but when it mixes in, it just does, it does something to the flavor. I can't explain. I don't even really know how to describe it. It's literally salad dressing, but just trust me on that. Try it one time. Just ask for a side of vinaigrette, pour that in your bowl. 
and you can thank me later. There's something that's just so much more peaceful about eating in your car than eating in a restaurant. You don't have to worry about anyone else looking at you, perceiving you. You can just get in your car, listen to some tunes, and just eat unapologetically. And me, I'm not a shy eater. I, I take big, fat bites, huge lip-splitting bites of everything I'm eating. So the less people that see that, the better. Let me get a good bite. Mm. Okay, after this, gotta go to the bank, gotta get groceries, gotta clean my car. Bye. Okay, one thing I hate about California is that there's parking structures everywhere, which is great, right? But you have to get a ticket and you can go get it validated like anywhere, like any of the stores you're going into. Why Why create that process? Just make it free. Just, just make it to where you can go in the gate. Why do I have to go put it in a machine and then put it in another machine? Just make it free. <laughs> I don't get it. Now I'm gonna make some dinner, possibly work out, and then do some editing, and then call it a day. Because even though it wasn't a super busy day, I'm still somehow exhausted. That was pretty bad. Okay, so I always get to this point of the day where it's like seven, 56 right now the gym's open till like midnight which is pretty late for a gym to be open but man i just want nothing more than to just lay in my bed do absolutely nothing watch a show and go to sleep um but i slept until noon maybe past noon today and i've just thrown too much of my day away to just sit around the apartment so i think i'm gonna go work out and then come back here try to do some sort of editing and then do it all again tomorrow Whew. okay So, <clears throat> just finished at the gym. It is 10.58 p.m. I ended up not getting to the gym until like nine. And so I'm just now finishing. Somehow it is still packed to the brim in that gym. The gym I go to is attached to a mall, which is so weird. And it's all literally always slammed. I've gone all different times of day and it is still just as busy. It doesn't matter what time I go. I am so tired. I'm literally gonna go straight to sleep. Mm, I may have a second dinner because I'm feeling hungry again. That's that's the toss up with staying up late. You always hit that second dinner mark where it's like 11-ish. You're like, I could go to sleep, I could brush my teeth, or, sorry, I'm backing up. Thank you. Or I could eat again and I usually, and I usually choose the latter. I usually go for the second grub. Um, okay, I'll talk to you when I get home. <clears throat> well, that's pretty much the end of the day. And you notice that no, I didn't really do anything else after I got back home. I basically just laid here and just brushed my teeth. I'm about to go to sleep. My retainer's already in if you couldn't tell. But yeah, this was day one of trying the whole vlog thing. I know it didn't really do anything interesting at all. Hopefully my life gets more interesting now that I'm living here in California. But until then, like, subscribe, comment, do all the things uh, that you're supposed to do on this platform. Let me know if you liked it. Let me know what you'd like to see. Send suggestions for videos. Seriously, I need that, but yeah, this was fun. I think I'll get better at it as I continue to do it. I guess I'll see you guys later. Thanks for everything. I don't know how to end this, so it's just gonna end.